Japan, of course, is known for robots, sushi, and cherry blossoms, but something else, too. I read online before I came here. So. You read about their toilets? Yes. Indeed, in Tokyo, we found visitors marveling at Japanese toilet technology. I think they're the greatest thing in the world. Wow. Yeah. That is high praise. Yes. No, they're great. They, uh, you press a little button, it cleans your bottom, and then you walk away after it dries. The heated toilet seat is amazing. And back where we're from, Boston, a heated toilet seat wouldn't be a bad thing. Naturally, our exploration of this topic took us to the Museum of Toilets. This is the history of the toilet, how yeah. the toilet has evolved. Exactly, exactly. So starting from the squat types to Western types. Yusuke Ikeda was our guide at this futuristic $60 million museum built by Japanese toilet manufacturer Toto. I guess you know you're in Japan when there's a special toilet for a sumo yes, wrestler. Yes. It opened in August and drew 30,000 visitors in the first three months with attractions like General MacArthur's toilet. He, of course, oversaw the American occupation of Japan after World War II. All of these components are in a toilet? Exactly. It's quite complex. Yeah, it's quite complex. Ikeda, who's in international sales, extolled the virtues of the technology. It's going to wash your bottoms and wash your bottom softly. In addition to the heated seat, the lid opens and closes automatically. No more leaving the seat up. Yeah. There are deodorizers, an antiseptic mist, a blow dryer, and bidet. Ikeda admitted his favorite function is the water massage. You can change where it comes out, where it hits exactly, you. Exactly, exactly. Toto, which dominates the Japanese market, led us into their factory. It takes a week to make one toilet, and craftsmen can spend three to four hours per unit smoothing out the surface by hand. At the top end, they can sell for almost $5,000 each. Why is toilet technology so advanced here in Japan? Japanese people really like to clean to everything. Everywhere. Cleanliness is important. Yeah, cleanliness is very important. Were other ministers surprised that toilets was going to be an issue for you? That was surprising for the first time. But, At the uh, Diet, Japan's parliament, we met legislator Haruko Aramura, who took up toilets as one of her political issues. You've been called the Minister of Toilets. <laughs> Is that a title you're proud of? <laughs> partially, partially. Aramura argues they showcase Japanese innovation and hospitality. And advanced toilets are part of venue planning for the upcoming 2020 Olympics. Is there Arimura believes Japan could lead on Western issues of global Western sanitation Western. and fighting disease. Everyone, everywhere of the world, has to use restroom every day, every single day, beyond national boundary, beyond language, beyond religion, regardless how rich or poor you are, you have to use a restroom. The Japanese are quite open about this topic from a young age. <laughs> Youngsters donned subject-appropriate excrement caps at this Tokyo exhibition. Kids could climb into a giant toilet replica and slide on in, triggering a flushing sound. <laughs> and, uh, this the is, problem uh, is the Japanese is, toilets can be so advanced then, they can bewilder plastic, tourists. The seat is quite hot, so like I jump off and I'm like, oh god. To increase this knowledge, yeah, totally Toto has tried publicity stunts like this converted motorcycle toilet, but nothing may sell a toilet better than just trying it. You don't know Japanese toilets if you haven't experienced one. You can only look at a picture, but. The real experience is by far better than the picture will tell you. Toilets may one day be able to check your health and vital signs, or even generate electricity. In most of the world, the humble toilet hasn't changed much in centuries. But that's hardly the case here.